As the U.S. waits for the coronavirus vaccine to be approved, the number of new infections continues to surge. Hospitalizations have reached new levels. Several states are considering or have already implemented new restrictions. And more than 283,000 people have died. Lucy Kavanaugh reports. Across America, the coronavirus is spreading faster than ever. A whopping one million new cases of COVID-19 reported in just the first five days of December. This is a four alarm fire and uh, we, we can't pretend that it's not blazing simply because it's been blazing for the past eight months. Many hospitals stretch to capacity. This surge is different than earlier surges because it's not about PPE, it's not about testing, it's really about healthcare capacity. And certain places are just being overwhelmed. 10,000 COVID patients are in hospital beds in California alone, where severe new restrictions are now back in place. Restaurants in many California counties are limited to takeout and delivery services only. Some pushing back. One restaurant owner frustrated her outdoor dining patio has been forced to close, even though she says a video production company set up an outdoor eating area for its employees right next to her own parking lot. Tell me that this is dangerous, but right next to me as a slap in my face, that's safe. New York also considering closing indoor dining in five days if hospitalization rates don't stabilize. As for schools in the Big Apple, some of those reopened today for elementary and special needs students. The parents were so happy and so relieved. Colorado Governor Jared Polis recovering from COVID. His husband also sick and rushed to the hospital. Posting on Facebook, I experienced a worsening cough and shortness of breath. My doctor suggested as a precaution I go to the hospital. This, as experts warn, it's about to get worse. And the situation is that as we enter now from the Thanksgiving holiday season into the Christmas holiday season, it's going to be challenging. Some hope seemingly around the corner. Pfizer's vaccine expected to get emergency authorization from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, which meets Thursday. But according to a CNN analysis, the first shipments will fall short of what 27 states need to vaccinate their priority group, frontline health care workers and the elderly. According to the Surgeon General, nearly half of all COVID deaths are among those in long-term care facilities or are older. We want to make sure we're giving it to the people who are most likely to die from this virus. We also want our health care workers who are on the front lines to be able to get it. Lucy Kafanov, CNN, Denver, Colorado.